Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel. As you know, we are doing history of English literature series on this channel and one, summary, uh, one series is more there and that is summaries of uh, important works, 100 important works. You can follow that summary as well. I am sharing my notes with you. Here are my handwritten notes. So we have done uh, up to 18th century and uh, uh, okay, today we are doing 18th century discussion. So up to 17th uh, century we have done. Hopefully you have watched all other videos, previous uploads. Uh, more than 100 videos are there in the list. So you can check out them. Now, is is of Dr. Johnson. We will be talking about this. Uh, 1750 to 1798. So 1798 we know this is the uh, year when romantic period started so we will take uh, this age from 1750 to 1798 and this is also called uh, age of transition and main characteristics of the age so first of all as i always uh, tell you that it is important to know the background of the age what was going on in social context there so first main character was the decline of the party feud we know that there were two parties Whigs and tories tories were supporters of kings uh, king and Whigs were you know opposing them they were uh, they were in support of parliament type of things so sec second thing which uh, had a great influence on the social uh, social context it was the french revolution the french revolution was the climax to a long and deeply diffused unrest revolutionary ideas gave birth to dem democratic and uh, humanita humanitarian feelings so there are two things Demot Democratic and humanitarian feelings to uh, to society it brought what the French Revolution and whatever comes in society it becomes the point of discussion and then later it comes to literature and then we have to study it so next one is renaissance of learning it also brought renaissance of uh, learning because Britain was influenced by uh, the French Revolution. So a mild renaissance was witnessed. They studied archaic forms and old writers like Chaucer, Milton, Shakespeare. And uh, that was like, uh, there is one example I have written there, Bish uh, Bishop Percy's Relics, which got published in 1765. Uh, Next is the new realism. What is realism? A writer writes the reality of society in his works. So in the novel of Richardson, we find microscopic analysis and a realistic portrayal of character and Fielding never spares his readers uh, the sordid realities of life. So you can uh, see the sordid realities of society in the work of Fielding's. And next is Gray and uh, okay. So now next one we can uh, see here. The rise of middle class. The fusion started in the age of Pope. So before we have already started uh, studied this one, this fusion started in the age of Pope. Aristocracy plus middle class was complete of this age. Means there were two ages uh, or we can say they were influential aristocratic and middle class they were weary of long continued artificialities now they were you know um, tired of this artificiality so they were uh, trying to experience trying to bring some new things to society and the long repressed emotions were now reinstated so their emotions were uh, repressed by kings and uh, the uh, we can say uh through the resigns so, so they wanted to free themselves from this and the next one the important part of the society or the characteristic of the works were the humanitarian spirit people became familiar with the notion of equality liberty and brotherhood we studied uh, just right now uh few minutes ago the french revolution impact so french revolution uh put a lot of uh, you know impact on social context and uh, society of england that time and uh, equality there there were slogans of uh, french revolution equality liberty and brotherhood 
द फिलोसफी ऑफ रूसो एंड फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन पॉपुलराइज द डेमोक्रेटिक आइडियल्स सो नाउ दे आर फोकसिंग ऑन डेमोक्रेटिक आइडियल्स and the age of transition like we know that this was age of transition the age of transition if you don't know age of transition is called which has the common things of both the, the it can be any middle uh, period of time middle age so uh, it has the qualities of both the ages so that's why it is called uh, uh, age of transition as well we find poets like dr johnson and goldsmith there and they followed Augustin slavishly and Blake and Burns who herald the new age of romanticism so gray and collins who were true transitional poets so we can call gray thomas gray and collins true transitional poet of that time they share both the romantic and classic characters we know that uh, 18th century is uh, called also classic uh, neo classic time and uh, but gray and collins lived in the both uh, with the we can say they have uh, the characters of classic and romantic writers so hopefully you understood the social context social uh, uh, influences social characteristics of the age and that uh, whatever happens in society that comes to literature later so it helps us to understand literature better if we know the social context of the time social characteristics of the time so hopefully you like the video and uh, you have watched the previous videos as well it will help you in your uh, upcoming exams thank you for watching see you in next video